guys welcome to the shy you channel where i listen to music i've never heard before and hopefully find some new stuff for my playlist and also stuff to be inspired by but of course for you guys to vicariously relive your first listens to your favorite albums it's quite rare that i do a reaction at night which is why the lighting looks like this but i have done it once before with the honor killed the samurai car album and i mean off camera i really like listening to albums at night anyways and like creating at night so yeah i thought why not do it on camera this time um it is an ep that i'm going to be reacting to by maruja called no canaria and i don't know if i'm saying the band's name correctly and i don't know if i'm saying the ep's name correctly but maruja no canaria we're going to go with that so i'm been i've been seeing it held up to high regards on twitter because you know, on my like personal Twitter account, I've got a few mutuals that, you know, post music related stuff. And that's where I get a lot of my music from that I choose to listen to. Because <clears throat> there's people that have really similar taste to mine. And um, yeah, I just take their word for it when they say something's really good. And this is one of them. It's only like 20, 22 minutes long and only four tracks. So I thought it would be a nice, quick, late night reaction, you know? So yeah, they do have this little website. And I'm going to read through the the About Me, well, the About Us page. Um, let me see, can you guys see that? Why can't I scroll horizontally? Oh, that's fine. Okay, About Marija. Already establishing a growing reputation as one of the most exciting live acts on the UK underground circuit. Gaining support from the likes of Glastonbury, NME, So Young Magazine and BBC Six Radio Music. Marija's run of sold out shows continue to dazzle fans across the UK and Europe. Marija is an evocative force that transports listeners to a world of diversity and gritty realism. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Improvisation provides the backbone of Marija's compositions compelling instrumentation and culturally relevant lyrics speak in tongues creating a myriad of whispered secrets for the better part of a decade they have relentlessly honed their craft pouring over every note with a precision that borders on the obsessive it is not just a passion that drives them but rather an all-consuming need a force that compels them to create and perform with a visceral intensity that is both electrifying and terrifying wow credit to red dog music okay wow i mean that has definitely intrigued me and piqued my interest especially this uh gritty realism and um the obsessiveness that they mentioned that's that's a interesting way to describe um someone's music i guess like more than passion it's a, a need okay so they are from the uk like myself but i believe they're from it doesn't mention it here but they're from manchester which is up north and i'm i'm in london but yeah there are countless amazing bands that come out of the uk and yeah i have high hopes for this one so we are gonna jump straight into it i believe it's post-punk post-rock kind of stuff and I do love that kind of stuff, of course. So let's go. First track is Thunder. Over stone rivers and barren lands. Straight into it. Already, I love the spoken word. Loaded phrases are fired. They strike from the tongues that command. Flashes of lightning split the air like bullets. Defiant they stand. Down the ground, shakes in God's hands. Ooh. Yes, got that alt rock kind of math rock drums that I'm in love with. Ooh. Oh, my gosh, this is amazing. I already want to blast this in speakers. Jesus. 
And we've got a nice instrumental break here. How do drummers do this? I find it so fascinating. It's almost like if you'd really try to imagine it, you'd think they're not doing it all in one go and they're piecing it together from different um, recordings. If he's doing this all live, I just find it so impressive. Like, like Zach Hill is insane, man. <laughs> I love the way they say, um, I love the way he says this world is electric, like really fast. Ooh, and then it goes nice and slow. Oh my gosh, I already, I already know I'm gonna be in love with this song. Took so much, took a home, took a life in a moment. But it seems all but hopeless. Great lyrics too. It's like we start with spoken word and then we end with spoken word and there's a bunch of like just euphoria thundering euphoria throughout the uh, the middle well I say end with um, spoken word but we still have like two minutes left which is well instrumental yeah beautiful now it's like sort of jazzy so we have the horn Also, I wanted to speak about the um, album cover, but it's showing a different... This is a single, I believe, yeah, so... It's showing the single cover. It came out in November 2022, so I'm pretty late to this one. Oh my gosh. What is going on? This like, ah, oh, I don't think you understand how impressive this whole arrangement is. It's like, almost like otherworldly. Like a, a mix of jazz, alt-rock, <laughs> post-rock, yeah. Crazy. Let me actually pull up the album cover. Um, oh, okay. That track might be the best song I've heard this year on like first listen, but hold on. <coughs> hmm, I was actually going to mention that the um, the album cover looked like um, the hills in Lesotho, like flat top hills, but they're actually talking about a hill in Ireland, which I've never heard of actually. Uh, Mm -mm 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 -mm. That looks so cool though. Wait, you guys can't see it. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Okay, this looks so cool. This shot right here looks insane. So Knockin' Area is actually um, a hill in Ireland. It's like a huge Lesotho hill. So what I thought it was was... Lesotho hill? In Lesotho, which is in... Um, south in the south of Africa was well, it's, it's landlocked by South Africa they have a bunch of these flat top hills you see uh, oh, you probably can't see that from there like this so I thought it was one of those because they've been like eroded around the sides but yeah there's a similar thing in <clears throat> Ireland which I wasn't aware of that's kind of cool but yeah I love the album cover and I'm going to be in love with that song for sure. I'm already adding it to my current rotation playlist. Uh, and a couple other playlists. Okay. Jesus. If the rest of the EP continues with this greatness, then I'm in for a treat. Thunder represents war. Lyrically, the inspiration was taken from what is happening in Ukraine. Ah, oh, okay. 
Nice way, arrow bullets. Ah, oh, that's the lightning signifies bullets. The rain falls like soldiers, okay. EDM and jazz sprinkled punk. Okay, yeah, that's it. with noise rock. The EDM I guess that the EDM maybe the parts where it sort of goes into a tremolo is quite EDM like. Wow. And this that explains the um cover for the song. The Ukraine and Russia war. Wow. I'm amazed. Okay, we're gonna go to the next one. <laughs> yeah, this guy has the right reaction right there. The holy shit. Okay. Ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. Already recorded for 15 minutes for one song. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to make this video too long, but yeah. If there's a lot to talk about, I'm going to talk about it. Okay. Next track two is Blind Spots. <laughs> Instruments went so quiet, and his voice is super clear here. Mm. Mm. I love his vocal inflection. It's super unique. This um, is most likely about the same topic, right? In Ukraine. Oh, there's an original of this on SoundCloud as well. I'm gonna have to check that out. I love that um the horn that's driving this instrumental in both tracks actually. It was throughout. I'm in love, man. I'm in love with this. Oh my gosh, this is what I've been sleeping on. I love how the horn is not on beat every um every time as well. It sort of runs off course slightly. Oh, that's so good, man. Both of these are like anthemic, like you could play it as a huge event is happening. Mm. And it's also discussing a huge event as well. Mm. Wow, I'm astonished man. This is crazy. Okay, so, oh yeah, I did want to touch on this, so it's about the same circumstances in Ukraine I believe and so you see my wings they're broke like trust that's a super good line because because trust was broken between Ukraine and Russia and their wings are broken so sort of like their freedom is taken away from them can't fly because I see borderlines as bombs they rain again again no ounce of shame no change of face which is, which ha which highlights the um the carelessness, the cold-blooded murders, no emotion, just senseless killing, crazy man. Oh, it's about the refugee refugee crisis, yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah, people that are in such need of help, and we just blockade their entrance, which is. Just cold hearted. Money would never amount to the importance of helping like fellow people that are in need. No matter how 
much money it would take to you know help these people the the amount is not important but you know you know how the world is okay <clears throat> i'm gonna go into track three which is an instrumental track three the tinker I've loved this so far. I'm definitely gonna have to check out more of their stuff, so tell me what to check out. Oh, okay, this was also a single. And Blind Spot was, yeah. So the last track on this EP is the only one that came out during the, the release of the EP. Okay, they have no other projects, so I guess I'll just be waiting around for them to drop something, but... Um, I would love to do single reactions, but um, I'd rather have a different channel to do that. I don't know, it would be more clean, I think. But yeah, let me know if you want, you'd want want to see that. I'm going to light a candle to this, actually. Nice late night vibe with a nice horn instrumental oh wow it's so good Jesus I can't wait for an album from this group man I wonder if they have any pictures of that um, instrument that's being played. Oh, it's this, yeah, yeah. Which is a saxophone, right? Yes, yeah, saxophone. Yeah. This guy is insane. Pokemon card. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this looks so cool. I'm so impressed, man. I'm going to let it go straight into track four which is Kakistocracy Kakistocracy oh hold on let me read this real quick the Tinker is an instrumental odyssey deeply with layers of textual nuances oh that's a good way to put it spiritual jazz that's cool ah this is from an improv session also that's that's a cool way of um making music because so that creates really nice nuance or it creates a bunch of nuances that you could go back to and be like yeah this could be a track let's put this on an ep you know you get those really special unique moments that are like unique to the band because when they're all in their element and not really they don't have a guide you don't have a guide you're just you know wilding out which is cool and alan carey i haven't heard of aka shanya must be this guy, yeah, this guy. Who did the violin on that track, which was really nice. Okay, cool. Amazing, amazing. Okay. Kakistocracy, track four. Also, I guess the trust in Blindspot was the trust between the UK and the people in need, right? So I, w I was wrong about that, but... But yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> Forgot to correct myself. That was a cool sound, whatever that was. Speeding up. Oh, 
You can hear the rage of emotion in his voice. the instrumental breaks that gives the saxophone breathing room. I love how non-linear it is, it's like unpredictable. I love when an arrangement is almost like its own beast. Like it's a living creature that's doing whatever it wants. It creates more of a journey when you're listening to it. Like more of an experience, I love that. And then there's going to be more pieces that you look forward to when you listen to it again. That's almost like an alarm fading out. It was the guitar. <laughs> well, that just has to be a song, doesn't it? <laughs> I would have had the same reaction. Real. I love this subject matter. And in a book I'm currently writing, I do go over this slightly, but I do need to touch on it a lot more and educate myself a lot more about it. But I think this is the cause of a lot of even mental health issues and people just not being able to live like they want to because of how much harm is caused by traditionalists and capitalists. Over stone rivers and barren lands. Oh, we're finished. <laughs> Well, let me just read off the, the rest of this. Deceit and fear mongering are surfacing more than ever, and it is clear that the decisions made by our leaders are financially driven rather than based on morality and well being. Wow, yeah. This is literally what I was talking about in the first track, I believe, or the second track. It's always in our lives. Wow, yeah. I'm at a loss for words. This definitely. One of the best things I've heard in my life. The whole thing. In fact, I'm putting them all in a very special playlist. Oh, I'm so glad I chose to, you know, just put on the camera and listen to this. Because some of these little EPs and stuff that I really wanted to listen to, I do off camera, right? <coughs> or like I listen to it with a friend. But <coughs> I'm glad I've done this. Hopefully... I didn't blabber on too much and I could make this one a lot shorter than the long album long album reactions. <clears throat> so on first listen, I don't do ratings, but when something is this strong and the message hits home and there's so much going on with the instruments that is like like I said before, it's like its own creature. I don't know. I don't have a choice but to you know think it's a 10 out of 10 because it's only going to get better each time i listen to it but that's the video if you guys enjoyed please like subscribe i would appreciate it and comment any um albums or little eps like this i could do as well uh just comment those and i'll react to it but yeah hope you enjoyed peace